Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. You're probably wondering, why do I have this t-shirt on a dress form right now? Well, we are gonna make a patchwork reverse seam serger top. They are all the rage right now. I know you've seen them. They basically look like a shirt, it's kind of patchwork together. And all the seams that are normally on the inside of a t-shirt are on the outside. Well, I'm gonna show you how to take just a regular old t-shirt that you have laying around the house and your serger, and we are gonna make it look patchworked without having to cut it apart and try and piece it back together. So this is gonna be super fun and easy. I just love serger projects. I'm always looking for a new way to use my serger. But if you don't have a serger, don't even worry about it. This is gonna be so cool that you're gonna to wanna to check this out. And I bet you could even figure out a way to do it on your home sewing machine with a zigzag or an overcast stitch, and then you can cut off the extra fabric right outside of that stitch. So don't worry, everyone can do this. So I usually don't do stuff like this that's really free form, but today it's kind of like an art project. We are just gonna sit down at the serger and we are just gonna serge all kinds of crazy fun lines in it. You just need to make sure that you're using a shirt that's bigger than you are because we are gonna end up taking in a little bit of the fabric along the way. So you just need to make sure it's still gonna fit you after you're done serging all these awesome lines of serge in it. Do you guys remember serge, that drink, the pop? Maybe, maybe not. So the even crazier part about this project is that there is no right sides together like normal. It is wrong sides together, so that way we can show the serge stitch on the outside of the fabric in the project. So we are literally going to keep it just how it is with the print on the outside of it. And this should be kind of fun because it's basically going to destroy the print and it'll end up really abstract. So let's go serge it up. We are gonna use some super fun neon yellow thread to do this, so it is just extra fun and crazy. So we are just gonna start serging. So you are just gonna grab the shirt, you are gonna fold it wrong sides together, and we are just gonna run the serger wherever we want across the shirt. It's gonna feel almost wrong when we're doing it because you normally would never do this to a garment, right? But that's the fun, exciting part of doing this. So we are just going to put the shirt into the serger. You can start wherever you want. It could be the bottom, it could be the back, it could be the sleeve, it could be the neck, anywhere. And we are just going to serge. I'm gonna serge all the way down through the shirt, but you could literally just serge five inches and then serge off. So you can see how we have this neon yellow serge just going right through the shirt. It's so fun. So now what I'm gonna do is just go kind of crazy and put all kinds of serge stitches everywhere in it. This project is gonna be so fun. So if you're having a stressful day like I am, you can just grab a t-shirt and just serge it up. You don't really have to think about it much, but it's really therapeutic, just watching it go into the serger, and then all of a sudden you come out with a beautiful piece of artwork, which is a shirt that you can wear. It is so cool. like it's finished. Look at how fun our reversed seam shirt is. I just love it with the neon thread. It just adds such a nice pop on this black shirt and it gives it so much more personality. So now you can really stand out in your t-shirt and you can have the latest trend in fashion. And it was so much easier to just take a shirt and serge it all up than it was to patchwork a bunch of different pieces together, right? But obviously you could totally take some t-shirts, cut them up and sew them back together inside out and kind of get the same look as well. So I did the front, I did some of the sleeves and I put a few on the back too. Now the shirt was already fairly fitted so I didn't want to take it in too much. Now you might be wondering, what about all the little ends? Are they going to fall apart? So you could leave the long serges for fun for some extra drama or you want to go back to all the little ends and zigzag them or finish them off somehow because it will come unraveled during the wash. So make sure you finish your ends as well.
Thanks so much for watching Sonia and Anastasia today. I hope you found our serger shirt very inspirational and you can try it out on one of your shirts at home. If you have any questions about it, leave it down below in the comments and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and let me know in the comments down below what you think of this new fashion trend. Do you love it? Is it fun or is it not for you? Sometimes fashion trends aren't for everyone and that's okay. If you're not already a subscriber to Zoe Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching and following along. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, and all those other social media websites, make sure you stay connected and creative with me. That way you can check out what's going on in the studio on a daily basis during sewing classes and projects I'm personally working on. Speaking of sewing classes, I now teach sewing classes in the design studio, so you can take them in person or virtually, so check those out at SewingAnastasia.com. And don't forget to check out the merch down below, there's going to be those little icons below the video with all of our Sewing Anastasia t-shirts and mugs and hats and all that fun stuff, so check it out. And if you found this video inspirational today, make sure you share it with all of your sewing friends. Thanks so much for watching, bye!